Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is Study Crypto where we discuss all things crypto. Now today we are talking about crypto and the market losing 485 million in July, which is the most recent article that we have seen that just recently got released from Cointelegraph. Now for all of you new to the channel, I would like to say welcome to the channel. For all of you that have watched the channel in the previous, I would like to say welcome back. So I know the channel has been taken a break we needed a bit of a break but now we are back to just uploading regularly as usual so please make sure to stay tuned subscribe to the channel if you are new please make sure to look out for other future videos that we will be releasing so crypto market loses 486 million in July most since 2022 according to the report nearly half of the month's losses were caused by the multi-chain exploit which resulted in 231 million in losses alone now the question that this video begs to answer is what is going on in crypto is the crypto market dead i'll just go ahead and just give you my opinion without wasting time i do not think the crypto market is dead i do think obviously we are in a bear market and i also think what is important to know is that right now there really has not been too much faith in crypto why because we constantly see a lot of exploits we constantly see what's been going on with sank bankman freed all these scams and I do think that crypto is still in its infancy stage and crypto needs to have mass market appeal now also let's not forget about the factors of all of these regulations that has been coming down really really hard on crypto is really making it hard for crypto to kind of go out and have its own bull run but is it over personally I don't think so I think we are just beginning and this video is not to give hopium but it's rather to give you some type of faith and belief that blockchain technology is here to stay I firmly firmly believe that that's the reason why this channel was set up was because we do believe in crypto so let's get back to the article the report comes out on heels of several high profile hacks and exploits in the month of july and a flurry of legislative activities surrounding the nature of cryptocurrency and digital assets with a current reported recovery total of only 6.15 million nearly 99 percent of all crypto and digital assets stolen in the month of july remain unrecovered again this is something that really needs to be zoned in on on this space is there needs to be some type of level of security where if you are involved in crypto, you want to feel safe. And the reality is, is we've just seen a lot of these so-called trusted platforms go under so-called trusted platform gets hacked and exploit and also just pretty much doing bad business and bad dealings such as Celsius where they're just super over leveraged they have all these loans going out and then Voyager where you can't withdraw your money they're making blocks who knows what's going on with Coinbase and all these lawsuits so we need to start seeing I know a lot of people aren't gonna like this regulation it's in a certain sense can be good the problem is is we don't want too much regulation where it's going to restrict a lot of users but we need to start seeing a lot of platforms that have become and developed and just pretty much just evolved into a space where regular individuals that are not involved in the crypto space can feel that trust According to the document shared with Cointelegraph, the research at DeFi believe not enough is being done to recover lost funds. Regrettably, the recovery efforts in July were woefully inadequate with only 6,796,915 recoup from the vast 486.35 million loss. The researchers went on to describe the cryptocurrency sector's ability to recover stolen or lost funds, a pivotal element in alleviating the impact of these unfortunate incidents. I'll leave a link to the description in this article for all of you that are interested. This was just a quick video just detailing what is going on right now, especially in the month of July, as we've seen it's been a pretty rough, hectic month. But we do have August and the rest of the year. I'm hoping that somewhere in the beginning of Q1 2024, we'll start seeing a big turnaround in crypto and start seeing some of these bags kind of go up. Right now, it does create a buying opportunity, so that does help a lot. Well, there you have it. This is Study Crypto, where we discuss all things crypto. Thank you. and. And see you next time.